Okay, so I hope you can hear me on this right now. I've just got back. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. I've just got back from probably the most mind blowing realization and sadness, to be honest, around people's sex lives. So I went to a swingers party and I fucking hated the majority of the time there. And I was like, within 10 minutes, I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to fully embrace this and just start talking to people. Met some really fascinating people with some really cool stories. Um, you know, like the lives of what it's like to be an escort or what it's like to be in a marriage for like 20 years. And now you're playing with this place and you're investigating what it's like to as a couple share your love and connection and intimacy with someone else um and then I went upstairs to so I'm going to explain the layout for people that want to know what this is like so (laughs) oh god I need to like sage and cleanse my entire body um anyway so went upstairs and there's like these beds and it's all open plans you can watch you can see what other people are doing it's all consensual it's all like a safe space and there's like security and stuff and I felt this level of like deep sadness for women oh my gosh like it's like porn on fucking steroids and I've been quite fortunate I've never really got into porn like I've looked at porn like now and again drew through some like bleak times relationship wise a very long time ago and I've never felt the need to look at it like I just I don't um yeah and so it's like porn on steroids people are just fucking and there's no love there's no connection there's no intuition there's no understanding of energy there's no understanding of like how magical (laughs) sex is um so my jaw was literally on the floor. Um, it was mainly couples and it was mainly couples that had been together for a long period of time. Uh, couples that wanted to experience someone else involved. So I literally, I mean, I was basically interviewing people while I was there. I was just fascinated by like, what encourages you to do this? Because I've been with guys before that have wanted to go to sex parties and I've been to a sex party in Bali and I did not vibe on that at all and I ended up just making a very good friend there and her and I just ended up chatting by the bar and doing sweet f all the whole time and avoiding everyone there so then I met this couple and basically ended up getting with them and it was I I stopped it I was like I just don't want to be in this environment um I know for me I want to be with one man, one man that fully takes control, you know, I think as high power driven, ambitious women that want a career for themselves, know the life that they have or are building and working towards and have those intentions and those ideas, whether that's their family um their home what they want to create or what they have like to have a man that respects that and fully understands how to cultivate that makes me feel sad for men to be honest and I'm not man shaming at all I love and adore men I think man woman unicorn whatever you are you know you will have amazing traits to you but what I'm saying is that if all you have watched is porn in your whole life, you don't know any different. Like you're missing out on the most sacred, connecting, vulnerable, beautiful experiences of your life. And maybe it's just because I've been fortunate. I also went to a tantra retreat in Bali last year, classic. But like I did do that. But before I even went to a tantra retreat, I'm just maybe I've just am more intuitive than other people I don't know I'm not claiming to be the most amazing person in sex and I do not sleep around by the way either and I've never been like that which isn't a good thing or a bad thing just for me I'm just very conscious of like who I allow into my space and just seeing that tonight like for example there was a swing and there was a guy 
and a girl onto the on the swing and I was like oh my god I really want that at my house I'm definitely gonna have a swing in one of my houses but he was just fucking her brains out and there was this amazing and she was not enjoying it I just know she's not enjoying it you can tell she's not enjoying it and there were cues of people watching like thinking that's how she should be when there's so much energy and creativity and passion and just if you think about it right when you have sex you're potentially creating life how powerful is that if you can cultivate that sexual energy into your business on a daily basis your family your health you know everything in your life that you want that is pure magnetism and pure magic and we have this conception of like need to come need to get it out need to release move on and no wonder the world is the way it is I'm still actually quite shocked I actually and I'm not saying coming's a bad thing because we all go through phases where we just want to come but it's such powerful energy. Why are we desperate to get rid of it? Yeah, it feels good for like four seconds. Like, oh, yeah. When I was in this Tantra retreat, I really was like, this is amazing. But also without losing the sacredness of it, it is a traditional previous way of living. And, you know, typically a lot of people don't seem to think they have like you know, four to however many hours to, to enjoy this. And it doesn't need to necessarily be that long, but it takes time. Like a woman's body takes a while to warm up. She needs to feel safe around whoever she's with. She needs to feel understood, listened to. She needs to feel like she exists as a woman before anything can happen. If you think you're just going to, sl- if they think someone else thinks they're just going to slide on in and happy days, like, unless there's like pure sexual attraction and magnetism where you feel like you already know that person. And by means, I'm no fucking relationship expert. I'm just speaking from experience and what I've witnessed tonight. Then, then you're not going anywhere. Like I was not turned on by this whole thing. I, rem- I just remember saying like stop and that's also a really empowering thing for a woman like I know tomorrow I'm going to be feeling a lot of shame and I'm going to work through that and sit with it but I also think it is so important as whoever is in that deep of a connection to step out of it and be like this isn't my thing because typically if someone steps away from an intimate time with someone they can be shamed right you know or you're you're frigid or you don't want to give it away what are you doing when the reality is like they're just honoring themselves and their boundaries and it's just not they're not vibing like it's your shit it's not theirs so yeah like women making love is one of the most sacred things you could ever do whether you're spiritual or non-spiritual, this is how you came to this world. So we really need to cultivate that and make the most of it and have deep connections with like one person. I'm so over this fucking bullshit. People being like, I'm in an open relationship. I'm really open. I'm you know, putting myself out there. It's great for our communication. I've been in two open relationships during lockdown and it's fucking bullshit it really is like the girlfriend of one of them knew I was he had two other girls and that lasted (laughs) like five weeks if that I'm fucking not dealing with that like I'm the main woman and even had to have that conversation being like I'm the main woman and I knew when I started dating you that you had another you had a girlfriend like you made it very clear on the get-go and it was a day of a lot of misalignments but I knew that and I remember just like five weeks in being like this does not work for me mate and then there was another guy I was with and he he couldn't commit so he portrayed as if we were an open relationship but he wasn't with anyone else um that's a whole story in itself but I remember just saying the same conversation being like I'm a main fucking woman and you know what I'm not even entertaining this conversation I'm walking away so I think imagine if you are with someone where you have the most deepest connection, you are fully yourself, you're fully vulnerable, you fully show up, whatever the situation is, and vice versa, and you deal with your shit together. You look out for yourself, and you look out for them. And that's it. 
Like, I just don't see why people are numbing themselves continuously sexually. I think it is so, you're missing out on an absolute game changer of our life. And thank you to the swingers party for reconfirming what I want, even though I already knew what I wanted. And for me to now be investing in yoni steaming. I don't know if anyone knows about yoni steaming, but it's basically like where you clear out the insides of your body. Um, if you feel like energetically you uh, let something in that you didn't want to. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's enough detail about my life. Um, but I just want to say, like, for anyone else out there that is interested and intrigued by swingers parties, by all means, go for it. Like, I'm so grateful that I learned these things. But equally, I am so surprised at how sex is. You know, like, I didn't speak about what I wanted in the bedroom tonight. And I feel very disempowered by it. And this is what the show is all about. When you speak up what you want in and out of the bedroom, the ripple effects in your life are profound. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects that happen tonight um, from my situation. But it's all growth and it's all learning. And yeah, I'd love to hear if anyone else has been into swingers parties or been in an open relationship and what their views are because it's a very interesting space to be in and I think it's quite a sad space to be in in my opinion and yeah all about the one man band there you go end of it's midnight in Australia I'm freaking tired and I need to sleep and when's the hell out of my body tomorrow so sleep well and enjoy this little round and rant about swingers parties.